Here is an updated version of the original onophoresis machine that I had originally shown you how to build on the previous YouTube video that I posted. As you recall, uh, this is a demonstration to build a device that will cure your sweaty hands and feet. Um, I'm going to show you how to build this. Build this. this is a more economic, uh, safer, less expensive version of what I originally posted. Uh, we're going to be using today, uh, instead of a DC power source that is plugged into the wall, we're going to be using three 6-volt lantern batteries. So you can get these batteries at your local department store. Usually you can pick them up for uh, about 2 or $3 a piece. Uh, they'll each provide 6 volts. Um, <clears throat> then you need a couple of wires uh, with alligator clips. Um, or they can just be bare wires. They can be anything. I picked up these. Uh, these are test leads. I picked up in the uh, automotive section of the department store. Um, it happens to be a red and black one, but they can be any color. It really doesn't matter. Just something that will conduct electricity. So we see we have the six volt battery. I have a uh, voltmeter here. You don't need one of these, but I want to just demonstrate uh, what happens. Uh, what kind of voltage we're going to be working with. So when I test the voltage for this battery, you can see that it's about 6 volts, 6.6 .6 volts, but probably around 6 volts under a load. So we're going to be working with around 6 or 12 to 18 volts and possibly more uh, if you can uh, stand the uh, higher voltage. Uh, remember for this device, the more volts, voltage you can stand, the more effective the treatment is. So, originally I had instructed you to get stainless steel pans. I picked stainless steel because, well, they last a long time, it doesn't oxidize. But you can use any metal that conducts electricity. Uh, we're going to be conducting uh, or building this machine um, basically using these pie pans. You can pick these up. These are aluminum, three for a dollar. Uh, so, you can use anything that conducts electricity. So. <coughs> you can see this is aluminum. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this red wire. Or yeah, let's go with the, the red wire. And we're going to hook the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter which wire you use. Red is usually positive, but you could use black. It doesn't matter. So you hook this red wire from the positive terminal of the battery to this pie pan or metal pan. This thing doesn't even have to be metal. You can use anything. It could be plastic and then you just place the lead in the water just like that. Okay, but I'm using uh, a metal pan just because it more evenly distributes the, uh, the current to your hand. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these leads. This one's still wrapped up. It just come out of the pack. Like I said, 30 inch test leads. It can be any metal wire though. It doesn't matter whatsoever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this alligator clip and connect it to the negative terminal on this battery. And then I'm going to go from the negative terminal of this battery to the positive terminal of this battery. Okay. So I simply connect these batteries in series. Now if we look at how many volts this is supplying, just simple addition, connecting batteries in series, and we can see that this has doubled the voltage. So we're up to about 13 volts at this point. 13 volts is probably not enough uh, to be effective in, uh, in stopping your hands from sweating. So I'm going to add one more battery, and I'm going to take, just happens to have this red one, but it doesn't matter the color. It can be anywhere. I'm going to connect this to the neg from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of this battery. So now I have three batteries connected in series. So when I look at how many volts I have, we can see now I'm up to what, about 19.8? Uh, volts, but really probably 18 volts, 3 times 6 is 18. So this is probably a good place for you to start. You could start with 12 volts and see how sensitive uh, you are to that. 
but I'm going to start out with uh, 18 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this black wire with the alligator clip to the negative terminal and then I'm going to connect it to the other pi pin just like this. So let me zoom out and we can see I have three 6 volt batteries connected in series to these two pi pins. Now all you have to do is get a pitcher of water. This water usually uh, should be warm and fill up these pi pans with water just like this and all you have to do at this point is place one hand in this pi pan and then place your other hand in this pi pan. Do that for about 10 minutes and then take and reverse the polarity of your connections. So hook this terminal. Make sure you unhook both terminals. Okay. So hook this terminal now to this pi pan and this terminal to this pi pan. And then place your hands in the water for about 10 additional minutes. So you want to do 10, uh, 10 minutes uh, with one polarity and then reverse the polarities. Now make sure once again you don't let these two terminals touch or you'll get a uh, you'll get an arc and make sure that you completely disconnect the terminals before you reconnect. So one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to have both of these connected to the same pi pan otherwise you'll create a, a, a short and, um, and basically the wires will get hot and you'll discharge your batteries. So make sure you do not do that. Okay. Now these batteries, like I said, you can usually pick these up for a couple dollars. Um, so I would start out, um, if, if you haven't done this before, I would start out probably with just two batteries. And as you can see, the voltage is extremely low. So if I touch this, I feel absolutely nothing. This is 6 volts. Even if I touch 12 volts, I feel absolutely nothing. You won't feel anything until you place your, your hands in, in the water. Um, you can add a little bit of salt to each, uh, uh, each one of these pans and that will increase the conductivity of the water if you need to do that. Um, if you can withstand 18 volts, then what you can do is you can add one more battery and have four of these in series for 24 volts. So if you do this um, <clears throat> probably once every other day, uh, for about 20 minutes, but if you're in a really big hurry to stop your hands from sweating, you can do it every day. Uh, so if you do it every day in about, probably, for me it took about five or six days and my hands completely stopped sweating. So like I said, this is an updated video. Um, if you don't want to worry about getting a DC power supply and you're worried about getting shocked, this is probably the absolute safest way to build a, on a paresis machine. Um, I